Match point for the upper bracket semifinals. Tong Fu taking on the fan favorite Navi. When we picked Pai Chen, uh, we were sure we were going to crush the game early on. Navi's uh -oh. trying to land it. No, they pick it. They took the punch. You can see Dendi smiling right now. Oh, yeah. He wanted it bad, and Puppy gave it to him. Yeah, for some reasons. That game, it didn't work out. Vacuum back into the call down. Dendi biting up more than he can chew. He will be cleaned up. Now, Puppy cut out in the middle of the fight. They were getting stronger and stronger. In this point of the game, there is nothing else in the whole game that can change anything. And Tong Fu is beginning to grind Navi down. They got a five kill lead, right around 5,000 gold to their advantage. This is really troublesome for Navi. The game was on the edge, and we could lose it like any moment. I was sure about that. We knew we needed to do something, so we started to try something out. Tong Fu is going to continue to push. They're not done. Mech still hasn't even been used. There's a hook. How? Brought all the way back to the base, cleaned up by the fountain. But when they were being gold, because at first, because that gave us a big advantage, at first I thought it was okay, next time I'll pay attention. Dendi said, this is the only way we can win the game. Us two, just doing that stupid stuff. I was like, all right, let's go. Dendi's going to try it again. Can he? Got him that time. See you in the base move. Whenever I saw enemy around, I would ask Puppy TP me. He would TP me and I would try hooking. Oh, there we go, the hook, got uh. it! Fountain hook, fountain hook, fountain hook. It would continue. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? You know, just keep it up. Then the result, he didn't stop, he didn't stop. It felt like, how do you say? It felt very strange. Tong Fu didn't know what to do. Like, they actually screwed up quite a lot. It's hard to stay calm. Mentally, you're panicking. Apocalypse is happening in your head. It's hard to stay calm. Mentally, you're panicking. Apocalypse is happening in your head. He just goes to Tong Fu. Jarcopter is Aegis to siege high ground, you know. Everybody knows the simple road to victory. The game should be done as simple, but he just got removed. Oh, he got him! He got him! They're on their feet, they're chatting! All it took was one fountain hook. Paul playing gyrocopter could have simply just TP'd after the hook. He could have just TP'd back home. Then the end, he was being pulled back to two kills, and then it led to the final game that was very disappointing. The fact of the matter is, like a player that was on point probably would have still won that game as gyrocopter. Probably should have never gotten hooked. Probably, probably, probably. But Dota is a lot like life. You know, shit happens. You have to deal with it. Hooking Tong Fu players with Chen teleport was one of the most amazing things that I've done. It was uh, vicious, <laughs> and I was part of it. I was very angry watching the game. It's not really so much against Navi as against the rules. A lot of people were saying it's very unfair or wrong. We came into the player lounge and I saw a lot of screaming. That from the game, that was the biggest joke I've ever seen. The biggest fucking joke I've ever seen. There's these rules about bug abuse, but what is bug abuse and what is not. I'm still a bit salty about it, I think. Like, how can you win? How can it even be allowed to win that way? Tongfu had that game, is that balanced? You hook a guy with Aegis? It should be... Oh my fucking god. It's not fair, it's not fair. <laughs> Disqualification. Yeah, he was definitely it's like, over. you guys don't deserve it or something like that. And they're like, whatever, dude. Let them try this thing. They can do it, go on, try this thing. You have to respect the skill that it took for those fountain hooks to happen. If it was completely broken and super easy to do, everyone would be doing it. They weren't afraid to try it or make it happen. I was sure the game was fair, even after like I heard those screamings. Oh, because in our eyes, I 输了就是输了，就是不会说因为他全日勾是一个可能相对来说比较不太平衡的一个东西嘛，然后会去埋怨什么东西，我们就觉得输了就是我们自己技不如人吧，包包括国内的也都会觉得
，会觉得对方比较，会觉得对方打的厉害，不会说因为这个东西太 bug 了或者怎么着。这也是下一年赢得 TI 的一个原因吧。但是，当时我没有找他找他们讨论过这个问题吧，我怕提起他们的伤伤心事，他们打我。Some exploits are fun and good. This was one of them. Maybe a bit too strong, but still, it was too strong. 就之后削掉的倒是就是没什么了嘛。You can discredit the game, but in reality, like Dota is still the same. You can still win games in the most weird ways that haven't been seen or done. It's the same for everyone, so it's it's fair for everyone, and that's just kind of a part of the way Dota tournaments go.